Hello everyone, my name is Napoleon Complex and welcome to Total War. Uh, I'm going to be continuing my attempt to beat the Shogun Total War, all the battles and all the campaigns. Last time I was in the middle of a campaign as the Mongols and today we are going to take, be taking a look at the Mongol historical campaign. So once again this follows a fictional scenario where the Mongols are not destroyed by a typhoon. They do manage to get to shore. So apparently in 1274, that's the date of the campaign in the game, the Mongols did manage to undertake a short campaign but they withdrew and the typhoon hit in 1281. So this is really seeing what happened if that short campaign continued and they didn't just pull back. Let's begin. Okay, so if people want to read, this is really just a landing scenario, but if people want to read this through, they can pause the video. And for now, let's just get into it. Quality wasn't very good, so I am Kublai Khan, the great Khan. My lands stretch from sunrise to sunset. I reach out my hand, and all men. I ride with the horde at my back. We conquer everything before us. We attack. We conquer. We are fearless and unstoppable. From the far Danube to the heart of ancient China, we ride and no enemy is left alive. My warriors? Ha! There are none greater in all the world. And these samurai will stand against us. Us. They are fools and will die like fools. Their Japan will be mine. This I promise. So the sound quality wasn't very good last time and I apologize for that. I am still somewhat new to YouTube and well, hopefully it should be a lot clearer this time. Uh, I have, I think I have the volume up too loud on my computer and that's not very good for Loyola. I have played this battle before, as I said, I have been having some difficulty with the recordings. Uh, last time I ran out of physical memory because I tried to record too much at one time and the videos are quite intensive so I sh should know what to do this time so that I'm probably going to get slotted. So we want to get our troops up onto that hill. Once again, I will be playing without using the pause function. Hold them to run. Uh, let's see. I do kind of want my. Oh boy, they were way too slow. See, you got to try. And, I want to try and get these skirmishers into position so they can throw their javelins, but I was too slow. Uh, so these guys are gonna have a good wedge. Oh boy, this is not the best way to deal with the battle. I should. I will probably still win, but this is not how I did it last time, it's not the way I would have wanted to do it either. Um, 
I'm actually making quite a mess of this. I need my cavalry to help me out here. I can't, I can only afford to lose half, um, up to half my army. If I lose 50% 50, 50 of my army, I lose, even if I win the battle overall. Uh, obviously, I still need an army to invade with. Okay, cool. That's done. They're running away. I now need to get my, oh god. Look at these guys drawn out. Strung out. They're starting to break. You see, I didn't put, oh goodness, I didn't put them here last time. They've obviously used that opportunity to flank my units. These guys are going uh, Not good. This is going pretty terribly compared to last time. I fought this battle twice now, I shouldn't be making these errors. Uh, come on, run away. That's the Ashgaru cleared away. Hopefully start to break soon. That's a lot of Japanese soldiers. Throwing everything in there. Okay, they're running away. No, our archers are running away. At least. They will come back. I don't know if that's my biggest problem right now. Uh, okay with their archers rallying later on, but get rid of the, the money here. Come on, give up already. Okay, they're starting to break. Won this battle yeah, easily, and this time it's going to be. Okay. The enemy general has fallen, Great Khan. Let us take his skull as a drinking cup. I think I took my skull as a drinking cup. Uh, or, I don't know. I don't know what the Japanese did to their enemies' heads. Probably wasn't as a drinking utensil. I'm pretty sure that the Mongols didn't bring their skulls as a didn't use any skulls as a drinking utensil, but to be honest I don't. Well we'll be right. Uh Hold on, sorry about that folks. Uh I don't know if that cut away. I had some problems with my I accidentally hit the window button and it jumped away. So I now have no I have no idea whether or not uh, this is still recording properly. Hopefully it is. Anyway, we've won this battle now. They're all just running away. They're all just run There's someone left. There we go. Not sure what took me so long. Okay. Now let's try Fushimi. So, I'll leave this for people to uh, read if they want to pause the video and do that. Just make sure that I don't cut off a part of it now. And essentially, we have to fight two different armies and we only have cavalry. It's not that difficult though, assuming I don't. Yes, up. So, as you can see, we start off surrounded, which seems like it should be a bad thing. If we focus on these rather vulnerable infantry here,
Oh, this is going okay. to go after the archers first actually but there you go just surround the general and that should be it for this army or this kind of half of the enemy army and this battle is just the enemy general is running for his life great khan he will have to run far and fast to escape this that should day. be the end of it i'll send a few people up too the enemy general has fallen great khan let us take his skull as a drinking cup Okay, no time to spare. That's, who's still shooting at us? Oh, they're dead. Let's not use a. Probably not use my heavy camera to deal with that. Hmm. I uh, don't remember being, there being so many of them. Well, it doesn't change, so. Is my memory span is that short? Oh, that's where I've done things slightly differently this time, so everything's happening in a different order. Once again, I need to keep half of my army alive. One thing I'm not doing very well here is keeping my army together. I'm losing all this combat power to sparse around the field. And now I'm about to fight in a forest. This is not how we do this, let's try and do things differently. Fall back, what we want to do is surround them and then kill them as they advance. Oh wow, they didn't even stay to fight. Oops, that didn't happen. That didn't happen last time. Can imagine how angry Kublai Khan or uh, certainly Genghis Khan would have been to have part of... to have... Uh, Lost soldiers for no reason like that. So we're doing well enough, but it's not really how you want to do it. We've pretty much won at this point. One thing I note about the early Mongol battles is they're really easy. And I think the uh, Japanese campaigns are a lot more difficult. I mean, Mongol troops are awesome. They're, they're really fun to use, but they're incredibly overpowered, and that's, that's pretty much done. I said, that's, that's pretty much done. Okay, folks. Anyone else? Good. Okay, folks, so that is the first few battles of the Mongol campaign, and as we can see, they're not very difficult. I will... so... With that, thank you for watching, and this has been Napoleon Complex, and I will see you anon. Uh, please subscribe to the video if you liked it, and fairly well. <laughs>